lettering in engineering drawing. Before starting engineering drawing as a subject to study, let us understand very briefly what we mean by lettering in engineering drawing. Lettering specifies the characteristics and dimensions for writing the letters and numerals on the drawing sheet when we are preparing an engineering drawing using technical drawing standards. It applies to writing with the help of stencils, computer printing and freehand writing. It is a standard and hence it is country specific. It is about using the correct proportion of the dimensions of the letters and the layout with respect to the size of the drawing. In this video, we will explain the Bureau of Indian Standards guidelines on lettering to be used in technical drawings. Let us define some parameters. For example, H is the height of the letters. D is the line thickness. Two standard ratios of H over D are followed. H over D equal to 14 for lettering A h over d equal to 10 for lettering b. w is the width of the letters except for the letter i. The height to width ratio in most cases is kept as 6 over 5 or width is roughly 83% of the height of the letter. a is the distance between two letters in a word. E is the minimum spacing between two words. B is the minimum spacing between the base lines of two labels or two lines. This table shows some possible dimensions of the different parameters as defined earlier once the letter height h is selected from the top row. So for example, this is for lettering type A and the letter height can be of these dimensions. Suppose we select 7 mm as the height of the letter, then other parameters will be of these dimensions as shown in this table. Similar table is available for lettering type B, where H over D ratio is 10. It is up to us to select the letter type A or B and the height H. Then all other dimensions are calculated from the table. Letter height H can be selected from this row, the top row. Main titles are generally 7 mm in height or greater depending upon the drawing sheet size. Subtitles can be written in 5 mm height or greater. Notes and dimension figures in 3.5 mm or greater. Incline letters lean to the right at 75 degree with the horizontal. Capital letters are always preferred to small letters and lettering should be done such that it can be read from bottom or right hand side of the drawing sheet. Always use edge pencil for all letterings. Let us select 7mm as the height of the letter. So these lines indicate the width of the letter and also the distance between two letters in a single word. So now we will practice some of the English letters.
is always important to practice freehand lettering or freehand writing. or italic style letters should be written at 75 degrees to the horizontal so they lean to the front side so this is the line at 75 degrees so all the letters should be inclined or lean towards the horizontal
another important aspect of lettering is that the lettering size should be proportional to the size of the drawing. It should not be too small or too large compared to your drawing size. So let us draw a rectangle and let us dimension this rectangle. Size of the letters for writing levels and dimensions should be comparable to the size of the drawing, not too small and not too large. This size of the dimensioning is too small for this case. Writing this size will be too large. So therefore we should select an appropriate size for each drawing. Let us practice lettering on a graph paper of 10 mm by 10 mm size.
Lettering can be quite easy once you know the proportions that we follow. So please practice lettering and it will be quite easy for you to use this practice when you are doing engineering drawing. Please note that your normal handwriting is never accepted in engineering drawing. So you should always use the standards given for engineering drawing.